we affectionately call Frosty. Notice the button layout in the center is similar to that on the unit itself. We have a power button which turns the unit on and off. We have zoom out and zoom in and autofocus. Pressing these buttons will give you this effect. We are now zooming the image in and out. Notice the bar on the right which shows you your progression of zoom. We also hit the orange button in the center for autofocus. We also have brightness up and we have brightness down. Pressing these buttons will give you this effect. Brightness up and down allows you to adjust the iris for the lighting conditions. Further down the remote control we have three blue buttons. One is called highlight. Pressing this button will give you this effect. Highlight gives you a shaded area and a clear box that you can manipulate around. This is good to highlight a certain area on a document that you would wish for people to pay attention to. The center button is called reveal. Pressing this button and adjusting the up and down will give you this effect. The reveal button, when activated, gives you a black masking over top of your image so you can slowly reveal what's on the screen. The button on the right is called zoom and pan. Pressing this button will give you this effect. Zoom and pan, when activated, does a quick zoom and allows you to manipulate the image around. So if there's just something you want to show really quick, hit the zoom button and pan to the area that you'd like for people to see closer. We also have some function buttons in gray. The icon for the camera takes a picture of whatever is underneath the camera at, at that particular time. Pressing this button will give you this effect. Hitting the camera icon takes a picture of whatever is on the screen at that particular time. Watch as the icon appears and disappears in the corner. That tells you that the picture has now been taken and stored on the card. The SD card button plays the actual images back that you've stored on your SD card that goes in the unit. Pressing this button will give you this effect. Activating the SD icon button brings up the images that are on the SD card. Notice how you see four of four, that's how many images are stored. You can hit the left and right button to quickly go to all images that you have stored on your SD card. This button that has a picture of a PC takes you to your PC input and puts your PC on the screen. Pressing this button will give you this effect. Pressing the PC icon allows you to go to your PC screen. The button in the bottom right is called Picture in Picture. Pressing the Picture in Picture button will give you this effect on the screen. The Picture in Picture icon button allows you to take a quick snapshot of whatever's up on the screen live and it places it in the lower left rear. This leaves this area still live. The center button is a CD-ROM icon. Currently, this button is not active. It's for a future product upgrade to the TTO2RX. The green button always takes you back to live camera. By pressing this button, this is what you'll effect you'll get on the screen. The green button always takes you back to live camera, regardless of what feature that you have activated at the particular time. It will always take you back to your live camera. To use the microscope feature, place the microscope with the eyelet towards you under the camera area. Then rotate the camera down and line it up with the eyelet piece. When lining up a microscope with the TTO2RX, it's important to watch the screen to find the spot of where the slide is while you're manipulating the camera over top. Once you find that bright spot, you then activate the microscope mode by going to the menu, going over to image setting, going to microscope mode, click set, and then the document camera will then zoom right down onto the slide automatically.
to go back to normal mode, just do the reverse and go to microscope mode off. Transparencies are also a snap. No need for a backlight. Simply take a transparency, place it on the white background, and it will show up on the screen just fine. Snap a picture of it, store it on your SD card, and you can play back your transparencies anytime without ever having to bring them out again. The ImageMate software that comes with the Elmo TTO2RX is equally impressive. As you can see, on my desktop screen, we have a live preview image. By hitting the camera icon, I can snap a picture of whatever is on the camera at the time. It has a still image, and before saving, it allows me to annotate on it, should I want to. I can also pick colors. And my annotations will be saved with my new image file, should I choose to. We also have a virtual remote control. Virtual remote control is a small remote control that pops up on your desktop and allows you to control the unit very simply. The recording tools has two different types of recording methods. One records in full motion video as an AVI file. If you plug a microphone into your microphone jack of your PC, you'll also have audio that will match along with the video. The second recording feature is called long time recording or better known as time lapse photography. This feature allows you to set the parameters of how often it takes an image and what interval that you would like. Say for instance you take one picture every minute over a 24 hour period, at the end it'll render full video using all the frames. Great for watching butterflies emerge from a cocoon or for flowers opening and closing with the daylight. By hitting the full screen button on the preview image, your laptop screen now becomes a full screen image of what's on the projected image. Clicking this icon takes it back to normal size. You also have the ability to resize the image. By hitting this button, it makes it fill the screen. This is nice because it allows you to have mixed media on the screen at any given time. The live Elmo document camera, as well as any other type of PC application you want to have running in the background. Thank you for taking the time of watching this demonstration of the exciting TTO2RX document camera from Elmo USA Corporation.